Hello, it's Austin here to demonstrate my uh, Henley Electrometer, also known as a Pithball Electrometer. Um, the, it was named a Pithball Electrometer because that ball right there is typically made of a substance called pith, which is pulled from the middle of plant stems, and then covered in um, conductive paint. However, I found a uh, more readily available uh, solution, which is um, just this conductive foam, if you've ever bought an integrated circuit or um, any chip or uh, semiconductor, it's probably come lodged with the PCB pins in this foam. And that's just to uh, prevent exactly what I'm using to make this device work, which is um, any stray static discharges which might uh, damage the chip. Um, this works by um, simple electrostatic repulsion, as in the base is charged and the ball is charged with the same type of charge, like negative or positive charge, so the ball repels the base. And um, you can see this is ungraduated. I have yet to calibrate it, or I don't even know if I will. It's um, still kind of a spectacle the way it is, but um, I'll give you a quick demonstration of the way it works. Alright, so for our demonstration here, we have the uh, electrometer. We have just a uh, tub, which is just a stand for everything, and we have this vinyl disc. And now, the way I'm going to build a charge is this disc and my hair are on opposite ends of the triboelectric series, which means that when I rub this on my head, which is kind of comical, but um, aside from that, it rubs electrons off of my head through my hair and onto this uh, disc, so it leaves my hair positively charged as this disc is negatively charged, so this disc attracts my hair. And, um, aside from being kind of funny looking, this is the opposite effect of what makes this electrometer work. So, I get this nice negatively charged here. Now, I don't know why. I've got a couple theories as to it, but, um, I've got to set the charged portion of this disc off the edge of the stand, or else it becomes neutralized. And um, now when I set the electrometer on this disc, you can see that little ball repels the base so it moves upwards. And um, now if I take my hand in here, it'll neutralize the charge. And um, of course that is because light charges repel as the base is negatively charged and the ball is negatively charged, so it wants to move away. And um, that's about it.